Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a random spur of the moment uh, Costco haul. I have been lacking, slacking? I've been slacking in the like meal prep, dinner idea department if you will and so maybe this video will be encouraging to one of you mamas out there who might be in the same season. I'm gonna share with you what we grabbed at Costco today and then I also wanna show you really quick how I do our like tentative meal plan. I don't assign a meal to any specific day. I just have a list. I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how I do that. I wanna show you what I got at Costco. I just thought maybe this would encourage one of you mamas who might be in a rut like I am. So I wanna bring you into the kitchen. Actually, I had to do this one on my dining room table because I didn't have enough room in my kitchen. So for Costco, probably, I mean, it's a pretty big haul for us. Let me show you. Here is everything that I just grabbed at Costco, with the exception of creamies, the popsicles. We brought those in and my husband grabbed them and already put them in the freezer <laughs> and totally ripped into them already. So let me show you what I have. Um, this is just a quick rundown, guys. You can see in this Costco haul, there's quite a bit of convenience food because we are heading right into baseball season. So we're gonna have some busy nights and I'm gonna need some quicker, easier meals to cook, if you will. So first, let's start back here with chocolate chips. I got these right here, Three Bridges Egg Bites. They are cheese and bacon egg bites. These are convenience for mama. These are a new purchase. I've never tried these before. These are cauliflower sandwich thins. So I personally don't do a ton of bread. I try to stick to somewhat gluten-free. It doesn't always happen, but um, these were just something fun that I thought I would give a shot. They're totally made out of cauliflower. I'm not a huge lunch meat fan, but sometimes I like to have just like that bread consistency, if you will. Uh, back here in the back, almond flour crackers. These are my favorite from Simple Mills. Costco has them the cheapest that I've personally been able to find them. There are two bags in each. I also have um, Cheerios Oat Crunch. These were on sale at Costco. Belveda breakfast sandwiches. Those are uh, just like a convenience snack, if you will, during the homeschool day. I also got these soft and chewy Kirkland granola bars. Those are a handy snack for on the go during homeschool, whatever. Um, down here for dinner, we have some Idell's uh, chicken meatballs. Those are awesome to put with like rice or mashed potatoes and gravy. Teriyaki and pineapple is the flavor. I also did them the other day with like broccoli and made kind of a, like a stir fry with these and that was delicious also. Then here we have some, it's just a sugar replacement if you will, like a monk fruit sweetener. I have two packages of carrots. I've got celery, smoked pulled pork. I love to do this in my crock pot or instant pot and just drizzle a bunch of barbecue sauce on it. Also trying to add to our food storage, if you will. So you will notice some of these things that I'm gonna share in this haul will be specifically to store um, for our food supply. Hebrew National Beef Franks. We don't do these a lot here at home, but it is camping season. We are, you know, avid campers. That is pretty much our life. So hot dogs are a staple in the summer months, the spring summer months, even come hunting season, of course. This is for our food storage, albacore tuna. I love making tuna sandwiches. I love doing tuna casserole. That's an awesome dinner idea. There are so many variations for tuna casserole and it's very, very simple. I have these right here, made good granola minis. They have 12 chocolate chip, 12 mixed berry, super simple, handy snack. This is a first time purchase for me, organic chicken sipping bone broth. There is nine grams of protein in this per serving and they come in these six resellable cartons. So I thought these were awesome for food storage but then also just kind of a healthy thing for me to sip on. I don't know, thought I'd give it a shot. Then Red Star Active Yeast. This is a big old pack of yeast. I'm adding that to our food storage. That was $4 I think at Costco. So that's a huge chunk of yeast that I can store and hold on to. We have tortillas, we go, through to we go through tortillas quite a bit. We do a lot of tacos, a lot of burritos, a lot of chicken tacos, enchiladas, all that type of thing. And then also instead of bread for sandwiches, we use tortillas. So we have a 40 pack of those. These noodles are Bonza Rotini noodles that are made from chickpeas, 20 grams of protein. There are five bags in here. So I love to use those as a pasta alternative. These were not a typical purchase. These were one of the uh, <laughs> the 
sample counters that they have or whatever they're handing out samples and my boys tried these with jam and they loved them so we got these multi-grain english muffins i thought those would be awesome for breakfast um, for the boys then of course the salad i got two different salad kits i remember when this used to be four dollars you guys i just paid nine dollars for this again it's all convenience right i can buy the all the ingredients and chop it up myself but sometimes i like having that convenience food um, I didn't mention milk. We've got milk back there. Huge thing of coffee. Again, I was telling the boys, I remember when this huge tub of coffee was $6.99 and I just paid $12.99 for this tub of coffee. It is sickening, guys. These are a new purchase. I've never tried these before, but I found a friend on Instagram who makes a recipe out of these. She's a fellow homeschool mama and she makes, um, she calls them healthy Snickers, I think, is what she, I think is what she calls them. She coats them in chocolate, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember the recipe, to be exact, but I thought I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to try it. Muffins. My boys love muffins. These are also a convenience food. We love taking them camping with us. We love having them. You can just wrap them up, stick them in your freezer. I went ahead and did boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I like to have a stash of these in the freezer, the deep freezer. We have these right here. These were introduced to me a friend um just bare lightly breaded chicken breast chunks these are so good so good they're like little popcorn chicken nuggets and amazing i purchased two bags of those because we go through those like crazy they're good for lunch they're awesome quick on the go you can even right here put together a bag of salad add some um chicken tenders to them some chicken chunks and you have a chicken salad they're awesome in the air fryer packaging are sliding off my table okay so we got through that let's see broccoli of course spinach of course for smoothies for myself the boys aren't really huge smoothie people i've tried i've tried to get my boys to like smoothies but they're just not crazy big fans um these were on sale 3.99 the siete chips they were on sale at costco bacon this was another thing i remember purchasing this when it was 9.99 and i think i paid 17 dollars like, this is just stupid. But again, it's convenient. Sometimes we just need that. One thing I did buy this time at Costco that I don't usually buy, I don't buy burger. As we are a hunting family, we have elk meat in our freezer. So I don't typically buy burger. But this, I just went ahead and grabbed because you can never have too much. I can throw it in the freezer and there it will sit until we need it. I did go ahead and get, obviously, the Costco size chopped onion. For four camping season, they are just bowls. They were on sale at Costco, so I went ahead and grabbed some. Uh, we need them in the camper and then also the cabin. So, AA and AAA batteries, we always need those. And also, those are going with some of the stuff that we are storing. Eggs, they were all out of the eggs that I typically get. Like, they didn't have a single carton left. This was all that they had. So, I went ahead and purchased two packages. I do have chickens, but Two of them have not been laying for like the last month. So we're only getting one egg a day. Obviously that's not enough. So had to buy eggs. Jumbo corn dogs, a convenience food guys, like I mentioned. Then we have um, green beans. So that is what I have up here on the top of the counter. And then I wanna show you really quick. I did purchase a bag of rice and I also purchased a bag of sugar. Adding the rice and some of the items here to our food storage um, and just stocking that supply up as I can, little by little, um, not all at once, but just little nuggets at a time. So I decided to come get comfy on the floor really quick and just kind of explain to you, first of all, I wanna show you the bags that I'm using for the food storage. I purchased a huge, I don't remember if it's a 25 pound bag of flour, I think it was, from Winco for food storage. I also have rice and I have oats. And so I was taking um, the big food storage buckets and storing the rice, the flour, the oats, but like I said, I also purchased one more bag of rice um, and I also have a thing of sugar. So what I am doing, I'm storing some of our food in the food storage buckets, but these also, a friend told me about these, these are Wallaby Food Storage Solutions. They are Mylar bags. So I purchased this 75 pack of Mylar bags plus the um, deoxidizer. I purchased them on Amazon and I, I wanna say I paid like, $25, but I don't quote me on that. I'll see if I can find it and link it below because I'm just trying to get into this a little bit. Obviously not living in fear at all, but I don't think there's anything wrong with being prepared and making wise choices for your family. And, um, yeah, 
why not? So I'm just kind of dipping my toes in a little bit. I'm not a pro, I'm not an expert. I don't have even a quarter of the answers to this. I'm just learning as I go. But I even used my curling iron to seal them. So I know some, pla some people will say that you have to have like a fancy sealer and all the stuff to do this. I just used my curling iron, threw, threw the flour in there, got the air out that I could, put in the deoxidizer, used my curling iron to seal them, and it worked perfectly. So I have so many of these left. There are also labels in here. Um, 75 of them. So that's what I'm going to use to put some of the stuff in that I'm wanting to store long term or maybe even at the cabin, like have some food storage here, the food storage there. So anyway, those are the bags that I'm using for some of those um, items that I want to store more long term. Now, as far as meal planning, I am not the most planned out gal, if you will, and I don't have a crazy rigorous schedule when it comes to planning out our meals. I keep things very simple, just like with planning anything in our home, in our homeschool, you name it. But like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are like getting ready to start a more busy, active season of life with baseball and stuff like that happening. And so I know intentionally coming into this, I had to have some sort of a plan. Otherwise, we're just gonna be spending way too much money eating out or having cereal for dinner, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to do my best to provide you know, healthy meals to my family as best I can. And so we do have some food, like I shared with you, that is convenience food. Some of that will be for lunch. Some of it will be snacks, whatever. We have the convenience food, but I also love cooking quality, healthy meals at home for my family. So some of the things that are staples for us with our meal plan that we rotate very regularly, barbecue season's upon us. So we love to do barbecues. We love to barbecue hamburgers, elk burger. We love to barbecue chicken breasts. Um, I love to barbecue elk steak. So on our meal plan, I just went through on a piece of paper and wrote down all the meals that I tentatively have in my mind that are quick and easy and healthy. And I can just throw them together in a jiffy. It's not a season of all kinds of crazy elaborate meals. I need simple. I need quick. I need things that are going to be healthy and nutritious for my family that I can throw together pretty quickly that everybody loves. So on here, I have about 15 meals that I've just tentatively written out. And what I'm going to do in my homeschool planner, I have this um, kind of month overview, if you will, do it on Sunday, write down a couple different meal ideas or fill in my Sundays with six different meals and leave one, obviously, for eat out, dinner with family, like Mother's Day is coming up. Obviously, I'm not going to be cooking something off of my meal plan for Mother's Day, but you get the gift. I keep it very simple. So I have 15 ish different ideas written down on a piece of paper that are our family's go to recipes or go to meals. We have barbecue burgers and veggies. Um, I have that twice. Barbecue chicken and veggies is on here twice. Just marinate it with a different type of seasoning. Maybe dice it up, maybe wrap it in bacon. Like simple things, obviously, but if I have a brief overview or layout of what I wanna do, that's gonna help me. So we have chicken enchiladas with rice and beans on here. Breakfast burritos, we love breakfast burritos in our house. They are an absolute favorite. So breakfast burritos I have on here twice. Um, spaghetti, that's kind of iffy. We don't do a ton of red sauce in our home um, for the tomato, I just, we have different nightshade allergies and stuff. So the red, like the tomato sauce doesn't always sit well with everybody in our home. Tuna casserole and veggies. Again, with the tuna casserole, I've added green beans to that before. I've added I've added peas to it. I've changed up the recipe. You can top it however you want. Add in cheese. Um, use the canned chicken even if you don't have chicken breast. I love to replace the chicken breast with canned chicken from Costco. That was one thing I didn't purchase this time because I already have like three or four containers of it. Like of the, what is it, an eight pack? I can't remember how they're packed, but I have quite a bit of that here at our house. And so I didn't purchase any of that this time. I opted for the tuna or for the tuna this time instead. Swedish meatballs, those meatballs that I shared with you, I can do those many different ways. And there's a two pack. So the, what I purchased is a two pack. So I can have two different meals out of that pack of Swedish meatballs. And they are healthy meatballs actually as well. So I can make those in two different ways. I have tacos on here twice because we love tacos. We love burritos. Those are always a staple. It's, they're so simple and everybody loves them. So very basic. Tuck and brown the burger, add some taco seasoning, throw in a can of corn, maybe or a can of beans. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Some cheese on a tortilla. I do, on occasion, if time allows, heat up the tortillas in oil because my boys love them and then they give them like that crispy effect too. So that's an option as well. 
I'm hoping that this, this helps somebody with some ideas because that's where I was coming with this is I don't typically share Costco hauls or my meal plan or anything like that on my channel. I don't do this type of video on a regular basis. So hopefully there's a reason why I'm doing this and it's encouraging to someone or maybe giving you some ideas um, for the season that you might be in. Maybe you're in a busy season too, I don't know. But as a mama, as a stay at home mama, I love to make good quality healthy meals for my family, but days are just busy sometimes and life doesn't allow for that always, right? In every season. So anyway, let's see. So I said chicken tacos, I said tacos and then chicken tacos. I love doing chicken tacos. Those can be made multiple ways. I can put them on the stove top and add um, some tacos, like chicken taco seasoning and some black beans and serve them on a tortilla. Or I can do salsa chicken tacos. I always keep pa that paste picante seasoning on hand throw those in the crock pot, throw some paste picante, a can of black beans, leave it in the crock pot all day, and then we have salsa chicken tacos. That's an option too. Um, breakfast, we are loving and have been for like the last six months, I swear, the Dutch babies or oven pancakes. So those are a, a healthy meal that I can make in a jiffy, throw it in a blender, mix it up, put it in the oven, make some meat on the side of some sort and everybody's happy. So breakfast I put on there. That's usually something that we do on a more slow evening, not necessarily something that's super chaotic. Then I have um, sheet pan veggies and chicken in my air fryer. So chicken breasts in the air fryer. That's something that I just discovered last week and I actually really liked it. It left the best texture for chicken and I'm a freak about texture of meat. I'm just gonna tell you, I am, I'm, I, yeah. Meat is weird, chicken, I'm just weird. I'm just gonna say that with meat. The texture of meat, I'm a texture person, so. Uh, if I'm saying that chicken, chicken breast in the air fryer is good, it's good. We also have elk finger steaks. Those are a more elaborate meal, very time consuming, but so worth it. And, I, and my family always appreciates it. So I have finger steaks on here. Um, oven pancakes, I already said that. Um, meatloaf and potatoes, because that's a simple thing to do with burger. And then biscuits and gravy, because again, breakfast. So those are the meals that I have written down on a piece of paper that I'm going to come back and fill in all of them on my homeschool planner this side, like for Sunday. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm, usually I just have this piece of paper and I'll stick it to the side of the fridge, but I think I'm actually gonna put it in my homeschool planner because we are still homeschooling. We're not on break yet. And so I think it's just something that when I'm actually sitting out with the boys going over our day, I can kind of have in my mind already I need to thaw meat out, if I need to thaw out some elk steak, whatever it might look like. So anywho, that's what I plan on doing. It's simple. Like I said, I don't have a crazy elaborate way of doing this and I don't even have recipes because most of this stuff is very self-explanatory. Burgers on the barbecue, chicken breast that you marinate, right? Marinate it how you want, throw some veggies with it. It's great. So that's kind of what I plan on doing. Again, simple meals, simple, simple ideas for busy seasons of life. And that's what I needed right now. I needed convenience foods. I needed things that could be taken with us to practices that could be um, snacked on in the middle of our homeschool day. And yeah, that's what I have for you. So also, if you have any tips on food storage or any good resources that you recommend, I would love to hear from you in the comment section because I'm just dipping my toes in the water with the whole food prep type of thing. And I'm actually really enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun and I don't know, I'm excited. So anywho, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that it encourages the mama right where you're at, just like I needed. This is encouraging for me to share this and to get it all out and to get it all on paper and have my ideas about me so that as we go through the week and we are running to practices and all the things I can kind of gather my thoughts for dinner because I don't know why sometimes that's the hardest thing. And then we just end up eating out and then it's just a mess. Like, I have the food and what we need here. So we're going to put it to use. We're going to put it to practice. And um, I would love to hear some of your family favorites as far as dinner, if you have time as well in the comment section. Thank you for watching today and I will see you in our next video. Bye.